If there's such a thing as a controversial lightning rod Baptist minister, then one is headed to North Texas. He's the former head of Jerry Falwell's Liberty Baptist Seminary, and his claims of having terrorist ties have clouded his credibility and perhaps his future. Channel A Spreadship has more tonight. Let me tell you what the last two weeks of my life have been. I got hit with oranges. Not what you might expect to hear from the Dean of Theology at Liberty Baptist Seminary, but it's part of the Ergun Counter mystique and legend of being raised a radical Muslim in Turkey and an enemy of America. I hated you. That may be harsh, but as Dr. Hayes told you, I was, my madrasa, my training center was in Beirut. And he says he was trained to be a terrorist when his family moved. And so we came to America. It was 78. Once here, Canner says he converted to Christianity, then rose to national prominence after 9 11. That's when Tom Rich of Jacksonville, Florida, first heard his message. He said, This is a quote, that he was trained to do that which was done on 11 September. <laughs> okay, which means, that, uh, in no uncertain terms, I was trained to be a terrorist. You know, I was raised to be a terrorist. But last summer, Canner's story started to unravel when skeptics found evidence that despite his claims... And I walked into the Stells Road Missionary Baptist Church in Columbus, Ohio, in full gear, full gefia, and a Quran. The self-proclaimed young jihadist actually moved to the U.S. from Sweden, not Turkey, in 1969, not 1978, and grew up not carrying a Koran, but looking and acting like most every other kid his age. The discrepancies proved so damaging, Canner was demoted at Liberty and is now headed for North Texas to become vice president at Arlington Baptist College, home to 200 students and maybe a not-so-welcoming staff. One of which tells News 8, I find it reprehensible that the leadership of Arlington Baptist College would hire a man who is very clearly profiteering from the tragedy of September 11. Back in Florida, blogger Rich says giving counter credibility takes away from the church. Really calls into question the integrity of the organization that he uh, represents. And, um, and it makes it harder to spread the gospel to, to people when they know that Southern Baptists actually are not holding this guy accountable. Canner did not respond to our request for an interview, but is on the record saying he is only guilty of uttering discrepancies and making pulpit mistakes. Arlington Baptist President Dr. Dan Moody declined an on-camera interview, but told us by email, Dr. Canner has our full confidence and we are excited about the future of our school. We consider all the controversy to be in the past and we are moving forward with full confidence. And while Liberty Baptist Seminary officials found Canner made factual statements that are self-contradictory, the chairman of the panel that investigated him says we never once found that he lied. What seems to be at issue now is whether his detractors can now find it to forgive. Brett Ship, Channel 8 News.